more Raptors, an all new seventh generation Mustang RTR Spec 2, and guess what? The AM radio is back, baby. All right, guys, at this time, we do not have any order information on the new Ranger Raptor, but once we do receive that information, I'll make a video for you guys so you can place your order at your dealership of choice. Now, although the Ranger Raptor is new to us for the first time, it's actually been out overseas for a few years now. It was first produced in 2018, but this is the first year that it's become available to us here in the United States. On the exterior, the Ranger Raptor resembles what we would expect from the Raptor nameplate wider flares, rugged tires, extra ground clearance, and that unmistakable Raptor grill. You know what I'm talking about, the three little dots. In terms of power, the Ranger will have a 3.0 liter twin turbo V6 made it to a 10 speed automatic transmission, and it promises 405 horsepower and 430 pound feet of torque. Now, true to the Raptor name, the Ranger will have an upgraded suspension to handle all off-road terrain at speed. Now, it has different drive modes to optimize that performance across various terrains as well. That suspension I mentioned is going to be a Fox 2.5 inch internal bypass shocks, and the tires are going to be 33 inch BF Goodrich KO3 tires. Now, if you guys are going to order your Ranger Raptor, let me know what you expect out of performance in the comments below. Shifting gears, this past week, RTR just unveiled their seventh generation Mustang RTR. In fact, we went to the reveal. If you want to see that, then check out this video right here. But let's talk RTR. At the reveal, we got a first-hand look and feel of the RTR Spec 2 package on the 2024 Mustang GT. Now, the RTR package took the already aggressive Mustang and added a few more appearance upgrades. It added an RTR upper, lower, and side grills with those signature RTR grill lights. They're all changed and they all look amazing. And to round out that iconic RTR look, a more aggressive chin spoiler. The heat extractors on the hood are new and they're designed to deflect oncoming air higher so it doesn't interfere with the heat being extracted from that hot engine bay. The side profile is changed with a set of RTR wheels and side splitters. RTR fender badges and out back, you get a lower quarter splitters and a duckbill spoiler. For this year, the RTR striping also changed, but they accent the body of the Mustang very nicely. Underneath, they stay true to the performance side and the car rides on the RTR tactical suspension with adjustable sway bars. The interior also gets an RTR touch. It gets the RTR shift knob, floor mats, a serialized dash plaque, and new for this year, a certificate of authenticity. All this with a three year, 36,000 mile warranty. And if you wanna know where to get one, we know a guy. His name is, his name is Leaf Johnson. It's us, you can, you can order one from us. In one of our recent videos, we mentioned that Ford removed the AM radio from its 2024 models. And this raised some concerns. The concern was that AM radio would be useful because the emergency alert system uses AM radio to broadcast emergency alerts and warning messages. The crazy part is that other manufacturers such as BMW, Tesla, Volvo, and Porsche have made vehicles without AM radios, mostly their EVs. Some cite that the electrical interference caused by the vehicle's drivetrain was a reason not to include the AM radio, but General Motors, Stellantis, and even older Fords do come equipped with them. Ford added the AM radio back into the 2024 Ford and Lincoln vehicles. And if any Ford EV owners do not have AM radio, Ford will offer a software update to include it again. All right, now it's time for my favorite part, the comments. All right, on the 2024 Mustang RTR Spec 2 is here video, Miranda Deal said, heart emoji, thank you for sharing, God bless you. Miranda, we love you, God bless you too, thank you. All right guys, that's gonna wrap up today's video. Do me a favor, guys, if you like this video, hit that like button. It lets us know if we're doing a good job. And if you have any questions, as always, drop them down in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe. Until next time, guys, peace out.